Well, first of all, a lot of credit to IU. They played their tails off. Coach Wilson and uh, their environment was pretty good. And uh, just a lot of credit to that team we played. Um, played really hard. You know, I quit trying to uh, draw up how to win games a long time ago. It doesn't always work exactly how you planned. And uh, you know, I looked at our punt team was solid. Our punt return team was solid. Kickoff coverage is really good. Uh, defense at times is really good. And then we had a couple hits they gave up when they put the running quarterback. You know, I thought he. Obviously, the, the big one he came out of there on, and we, you know, we're up by 10, you, and you get positive field position, we turn the damn thing over. So uh, we're turning the ball over at an alarming rate, and that's obviously a difference in the game. And, and at some point, that's going to bite you. So uh, we have to fix that. And, uh, you know, I had two fumbles. Jalen laid it on the ground twice. We got to fix that. Uh, we had a tough injury to uh, Corey Smith, who's kind of all purpose guy for us, a tough guy. Our prayers out to him, and just um, rally up and home, get out of here, and find a way to win our sixth game. Urban, how did that fourth and one call at the 35 late third quarter, how did that jump start your offense? Oh, it jump started. Uh, we went, uh, you know, uh, gap blocking against, uh, we're getting a lot of movement, and, and that disrupts zone plays, and we went to gap blocking, and our offense line came pushing off the ball, and Zeke, you know, Zeke's just such a good second level runner. And um, that, that jump started everything. You know, I think he ran for 240, someone just said in the second half, three big hits. And it's great to see him get to the second level. We just got to complement that with the pass game a little bit. We, you know, once again, the darn turnovers. You know, I think all three of them were in the pass game. And that's, uh, we got to fix that. Bill. Uh, obviously, Ezekiel ran very well with the passing game, but being struggled. How much of it, I'll give you say, probably, how much is Cardinal, how much is receivers, how much confidence do you have in the passing game right now? Well, 18 to 27 for 245, you know, that's, that's not awful. Uh, we just, you know, I, I saw what you saw. There's some uh, balls. The guys were open. You know, when either, you know, one one was an option route where I don't want to get into it, but you just have to work at it. But once again, of 18 to 27, 245, it's not. You know, we're getting better. I think last year, last week we threw for 288, so we're continuing getting better. You take the three turnovers out, and that's a that's a solid performance by the Buckeyes. I didn't say great, but a solid performance by the Buckeyes. Tim. Yeah, Urban. That that last. Uh frenzied uh, possession there when they had the ball and stuff. What did you guys, did they call time out for the last play? What did you guys tell the defense? Well, the they went, you can talk to, they, they went real aggressive. We went bear shoot, which is a, a real aggressive call. And that's kind of, I agreed with the call. And uh, uh, obviously our defense coaches know what they're doing. And, you know, we had, um, you know, too many penalties on our, in our past defense. So a lot of things to work on. But, you know, in that kind of situation, go step up and make a play. That was a heck of an effort. Here. Steve. I couldn't even see it, by the way, what happened. I haven't even asked. Doug. Urban, do you still see this as sort of like the progression that a team makes sure. early in a season? Or is there anything sure. that you think, man, this really needs I to change? Uh, the turnovers have to change right now. I mean, right now. And there's a couple ways to do it. Just keep coaching, emphasize what we do. And second, if it, the guys laid on the ground, just can't play. And uh, that's kind of been, you know, you actually started last year a little bit near the end of the season. We used to always be near the tops in turnovers because we emphasize the heck out of it. We practice it. The entire practice, we have guys get hit, hitting them. So they put the ball away. It's just the emphasis and the players that touch the ball got to make sure it's tight. And did you consider taking Cardale out after his interception? No, no, not then because he was playing OK. You know, uh, no. Over here to the left, Steve. Coach, uh, when I ask about Jalen Marshall, it just seems like uh, a thing that kind of cuts both ways. He's capable of making a game-breaking play for you and then yep. trying maybe too hard to get yep. an extra yard or something turns it over. Well, I think it's a, uh, ex very observant, and I agree with it. You know, trying too hard, and I guess when you lunge and you lean, and, mm -hmm. and uh, but it's got to change. And he's a smart enough kid that he ha he'll understand that and we'll get that fixed. I just want to add uh, red zone. First half, I think you were inside the 24 times and got two field goals out there. Just uh, what, what can be done in those situations where they're good throws? What yeah, I thought, you know, once again, I've not seen the film, but I thought we had a couple opportunities if we're accurate with the throws that we score. And uh, you also be able to, like to, you know, in Ohio State with Zeke, you got to be able to pound the ball in there a little bit too. So we we'll evaluate it when we get back. A couple more. Bill, second row. Urban, is it possible to have so many weapons that the guys don't get enough touches that you want? Yeah. Well, I'm just sick about Braxton. You know, I want to get him the darn ball, and and then you just get caught up in the flow of the game. And and uh, 
you know, I think, you know, Jalen's touching the ball. Dontre, I think a little bit. He's a guy that's practicing hard to get him involved. Zeke is obviously a guy that's got to get his 20 to 25 touches a game. Uh, those are, you know, Nick Vanette made a few plays today. So I'm not even really thinking about that anymore. Just thinking about winning the damn thing and what's the best way to do that. And final questions. Clay? When you win a game on the final play, is that uh, relief, exhilaration, or are you still frustrated in the first half? I'm, I think I've learned to enjoy it, but I'm very frustrated. You know, the turnover thing got me right now, and I, we got to get that fixed. But, I mean, to walk out of here, that uh, the script was written a little bit like Penn State last year, on the road, and uh, to take it, uh, to get on a plane here in a minute with the victory, I'll take it. So exhilaration, uh, I guess for a 51-year-old man, I'm pretty exhilarated right now. You can't tell. But what does that say about the league when Indiana takes the top team in the country? Well, they beat Missouri, I think, last year, right? And, you know, I, I, I'll tell you, you, look across the country, man. Every day you better play. You better play. They have Division One scholarship athletes, too, and that's a team that will be going to a bowl game. And, and uh, I, you know, I'm not sure that their quarterback got hurt. No, I'm, I'm not even sure what happened. Yeah. I hope he, you know, obviously injuries are awful. But I think they're a very, uh, they'll be in a bowl game.